Oh, hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, honestly, I'll be honest with you, with these whole YouTube videos, the hardest thing is the first line, is picking up the camera, looking into the lens and saying something to get you started. So um, yeah, I mean, I can, do, I can do that. Yeah, hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, but I, my brother's stolen that now, so we won't be, we'll have to think of a new one. So what's going on today? Well, I've been dealing with this whole ADHD thing, taking my medication, um, but a lot of people suggested making lists of things to do, you know, to kind of organize yourself. So today we made a list. Um, what's on the list? Uh, dry laundry, um, done, we've done that. Tick that off the list. Wash more laundry. Well, we've got an hour and a half till four in our Probably gonna go and do that now. Uh, make a, a top secret business call meeting um, for exciting new project, but it's, it is top secret. I can't tell you anything about it. Um, but it's very exciting. Um, so I made that call at 11 a.m. So that's done, business meeting done. Clean the cottage, well, I've done the dishes in here. Um, probably needs a bit more tidy up, but um, what's the point? I'm not actually living in here or anything, so that's fine. Film a Patreon video. Uh, I've, I've set that up, so I can do that later. The main thing on the list right now is to clean my bedroom. Uh, let's be honest, I can't show you my bedroom because it's very embarrassing. I will go and clean my bedroom and I will show you when it's done. So here is to organization. And I'll see you uh, when I'm done. All right, well, I've managed to organize all of my clothes into a, onto a rail. I didn't have a rail before. I've got an awful pile of laundry that needs doing. Uh, I need to put fresh sheets on the bed. That's my bedding just there. Uh, and I think it's all right. Oh, while we're here, actually, I'll just show you these. These were my um, Christmas gift from Stephanie from um, Antoinette Poisson in Paris. They're hand block printed uh, and hand colored. So they'll go in the cottage eventually. And I just want to show you these quickly. These are some prints from my, um, my French friend, who's an artist called Guillaume, who lives in Paris. Uh, he's getting quite famous as an artist. So I bought these prints off of him. Uh, and I've also got another one somewhere. That's a card that he made, very cute. That's the thing about the chateau right now. It's completely empty, all these empty bedrooms, nobody in them, just me. Billy and Gwen have actually moved out permanently now uh, and they're not gonna do B&B &B, and they're not gonna do weddings. So the chateau is just completely empty. So what on earth are we gonna do with it? I suppose I could just take it over. Actually, Billy and Gwen are just about to complete the purchase, well, in the next two months, on the convent that they're buying uh, in the local town. Um, Billy says he doesn't mind if I sort of do the rooms up in here for my videos, so that could be quite cool, actually. Hello? Hi. Florian, is that you? Oh, Maker. Ah, yeah, I wondered if you could help me. I really need some help filming today. I wonder if you are available. You need me? I can come in two minutes if you want. You, you fear? Two minutes? Okay. Right, well, I'll see you in a bit then. Okay, I arrive. See you. Bye. <laughs> right, well, he should be here in two minutes. I think I've got enough time to make a cup of tea. <gasps> oh, how did you get here so fast? Sunny? That was fast. I, uh... <laughs> when you need me, I'm here. That's reliability for you. All right, um, we need to do some, some work. I have to uh, prepare myself. Okay. Makes one month we didn't make videos. So what have you been doing in the last month? What you, I did? You prepared a 200 page paper for the university, didn't you? I, I wrote uh, a book uh, to validate the master. Oh, master your master's? Science, yes. Ah, so you're, you're doing the master's? Yes. Smart guy. We try. <laughs> <laughs> try to do our best. Yeah. Right, so we need to do, I have a list of things to do today. I have to, um, I'm going to do a Patreon video, just a question and answer video. So, right, let's make a file. We've got lots of questions. Right, so we have just recorded a Patreon video. It was a question and answer video, so we were just sat in my um, bedroom, which I just cleaned. Uh, well, sort of, I need to vacuum. There's a lot of dead flies on the floor. Every time you put the heating on, they all wake up. I don't know whether they just sleep in the cracks in the windows and stuff, but what is Billy doing outside? You see Billy? 
Yeah, where he but he was just over um, over on the grass. So I think he was doing doing something to to get rid of the moles because the moles are destroying the lawn. I don't know if you can see. Oh. Yeah, look at all the mole hills. Oh, they're terrible. They're destroying the place. So you have uh, to buy. You know, it's something you put sounds. Sound. Yeah, it's a signal. Signal. And, uh, how you say the animal? The mole. The mole will, will live because it's a bad noise for them. So just oh, really? live. Yeah, I, my dad bought this uh, five years ago. It's cool. It works. It, yeah, it works. It's like a sonic thing. Yeah. So they don't like the sound. Well, there we go. Right. Well, what we need to do is because basically just before Christmas, I sort of um, closed off upstairs and just sort of um, swept it under the rug for the last month. But what we need to do is we need to go upstairs and have a little look because um, the insulation did most of it, but there's a second layer in the roof that needs to be done. So if we go and have a look, I need to find the ladder, first of all, and then we can go um, and assess the situation so we can continue work. All right, I found it. Oh, did, could you open the door for me, Florian? Yeah, you can. Right, well, thankfully, I haven't got any china to knock off the shelves this time, so I can get it in a bit easier. Oh, dear. Wow, it's crazy to see uh, the cottage empty. Yeah. Oh. Well, no work's gonna get done if it's all here. Yeah. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, you, we have a lot of things to move before. Yeah, because it was basically, we finished up here before Christmas and nothing's, nothing's been done since. So, like, if you come and have a look, so this is where the, um, the insulation's been put between those um, rafters, or chevrons as they call them in France. Uh, and then above, you can see there, that's had the second layer on and uh, I had a volunteer here that was helping me do it, Christopher from America. But we did film us working up here. Basically, his, um, his microphone, about 30 seconds into filming, just cut off and we didn't realise. So for the whole video, you can't hear what he's saying. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Um, we are just about to start putting the last layer of insulation in the roof of the cottage. I've got my, um, my helper all the way from, um, people are going to give me stick for this. I'm going to say Nevada because it's how you would say it with an English accent. But Chris, do you want to tell us, tell us what it is in uh, your accent? Uh, Nevada is the appropriate way. Nevada. Yeah. That sounds weird to say it for no you Nevada. It off with a southern accent. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if I just show you here, these are the dormers. Now I got my way with this and they have finally been opened up properly um, and Sean's done a really good job of boarding out, you know, putting the, the woodwork, the wood frame in because they were a really awkward space. Because actually this, this purl in here is below the level of the top of the dormer, which is actually up here. We either had to leave this bit open up here and have the, the purling go across or actually if you come and look up here, what we've done is We've done it so that it's below the level and you've got like a little bit that goes up now here. And we can insulate out there, board it all out. And the main reason for this is actually it does make it look, it does make it look quite a lot bigger up here having these open. But my main concern was if the roof came down to here um, and then it opened up here, um, we would have had to, see it wouldn't have made any sense because actually if the roof had come down to here, what would you have done here? You'd have like a little boxed out section, which would have looked weird. And also, I need curtains up here because these are not double glazed windows. So I'm hoping that I can put a curtain rail between these two bits of wood. You can buy brackets that fit into the wall like cups. So one there, one there. And I can have some nice velvet curtains that will keep it nice and warm in the winter. So they're done. Just need to put the insulation up now. If you look up here, it's had all these um, pieces of wood put across now 
which we're going to attach the plasterboard to. But I'm going to put a second layer of insulation um, in the roof space so that it's double insulated, so that it's super warm. And another thing before we start doing the insulation, I'm just going to show you over here at this end. Right, originally there was a ceiling in here, but we don't, we're not going to have the ceiling now. Uh, we can have it open, which makes the space look much bigger. But originally there was a, a wall here. As you come up the stairs, there was a, a wall that went, oh, sorry, I'm going to sneeze now. <laughs> Take two. There was originally a wall here and there was a door. So you come up the stairs, open the door into the bedroom. Uh, there was a wall along here, uh, a wall along that part there. And there was a little tiny door just there, which was a cupboard. Now I had the idea to, to leave it all open uh, so that all of the heat from the Argo could come up the stairwell and keep the upstairs warm. But I was cooking the other day uh, downstairs and I came upstairs to, to get something and I noticed that the whole bedroom was filled with cooking smells um, and there's only one thing in this whole world that I really don't like, I'm a really laid back person, but one thing I don't like is the smell of cooking smells in the bedroom. I don't know, it's like it, it just winds me up. So um, I've decided that what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put the wall back so that I can have a little storage cupboard at the end there, a door here. I just realized, where am I gonna put a wardrobe? Where am I gonna put my clothes? There's nowhere to put a wardrobe. If I put a wardrobe here, this light fitting, a wall light fitting can't be here. So what I'm gonna do is actually, yeah, once the wall's there, I'm gonna put a nice big antique wardrobe just here against the wall. It won't be plasterable, this wall. I'll use some like pine tongue and groove to panel it and which I'll paint with a nice vintage eggshell paint and a nice color. Nice door here so that when I'm cooking, I can come up here and I can shut the bedroom door to keep the smells out. But honestly, I've been waffling on for about 10 minutes now. I think it's time we actually did some work, isn't it, Chris? Yep. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, because people don't know who you are. They might have seen like a few seconds of you in my video. I'm going to turn the camera around now. And if you don't mind, I'd like you to introduce yourself. Sure. So tell us, Chris, you've come from Nevada. You are a data scientist. Yeah. Do you want to explain what that involves? Uh, sure. So I'm, I guess, a generalist data scientist consultant and do a lot of different things ranging from statistical analyses to machine learning and deep learning projects. So that involves like artificial intelligence yeah. and algorithms and things. Yep. So you're actually working on a little project at the minute, a sideline project for, for me. Explain the little um, app that you've, well, it's not an app, but the little program that you've just built. Uh, I, I actually built it into an application, but uh, as kind of a fun project, I wanted to see if I could take your thumbnails mm -hmm. and using your click-through rate mm -hmm. on those thumbnails, train an AI model to take as input the thumbnail and predict what the click-through rate is going to be. Yeah. Um, so I built a model that does pretty well at taking those thumbnails and predicting click-through rate. So hopefully the app uh, is going to tell me which of my thumbnails and possibly titles get the most clicks so that I can in future tailor my future thumbnails and titles to, to, to follow that trend and basically whichever ones get the most clicks we can try and replicate that in the future to, um, to push the YouTube channel a bit further. Yeah. So Yeah, exactly. And hopefully it'll be somewhat useful. It won't auto-generate thumbnails for yeah. you, but it'll tell you what it thinks are the best ones if you make you know, multiple versions. Yeah, imagine if you could develop that into an app that yeah. was like a subscription-based app. You would be uh, a millionaire. Yeah. Like in no time, honestly, because I would subscribe to that and I'm, I know all of my YouTube um, friends would do exactly the same because the thumbnails are really important to get people to click on the videos. If the thumbnail doesn't look interesting, nobody's going to click on your video yeah. unless they're a, a return, returning subscriber and they know that you, they, like, they want to watch your videos. But for new people, you know, what's, what makes you click on a thumbnail? And this is what your app or your um, program is going to help determine. Yeah, it'd be really cool to take thumbnail plus title, maybe video length, mm -hmm. some other features, mm -hmm. build it all into one model so you yeah. get a, an overlook of all of the features that convince people to click on a video. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to, to see how you develop this because um, I'll definitely, if it comes if it develops into an app, I'll definitely be using it. So. Yeah. yeah, right, so we've got all of this rock wall here, three bags, and hopefully we're going to now put this up into the roof. There we go, we're currently balanced on a beam. 
This is a brand new phone. I don't really want to drop it. But I think it'd be all right up there. Yeah, if you hop up, Chris, we can try and put this first one up. I'll try not to put the staple gun through your fingers. <laughs> if you get that in, it needs to go up right into the, it should fit between the two pretty neatly. If I just put a staple here to start with, there we go. Oh, that works. I think we're going to be all right. I'm going to get a tape measure quickly because we need to mix that one. You see, there's a bit of a gap. We need it to be a, a, like a really good fit. So. Perfect. Can you just actually, can you just check the, the, the little microphone at the top? On top of the phone, uh, there's like a little receiver. You should see two levels going up and down if you speak. Yeah. Is they both work? They're both working, yeah? One and two. Okay, perfect. Just have to check now and again in case one's gone off. So, Christopher, uh, Chris, I mean, I'm going to let you take over recording because you've actually got a YouTube channel, haven't you? Yeah. It's called Mind of Data. Yep. And you've got four videos. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, hopefully you make some more because they're quite interesting. Do you need help holding this one up? Or... Right, was that recording? It was. Yeah. <laughs> right, Chris, how are we getting on? Good. I think we have everything stuffed in on this side of the... Yeah. Yeah, we've done right up to the, the apex there. Yeah, we've had to put a few staples in here and there because some of them just want to drop out, obviously, like they did earlier. But the second layer in right up to the top, uh, we're not going to do these lower parts um, yet because we can just do these from a ladder. Like down here, it's much easier. We're just going to we're going to get the whole top done first, straight through to the stone wall at the end. Yeah, all right. Let's have a break for five minutes and then we can carry on. Sure. I just didn't do anything over Christmas because, well, I had a few problems. But, yeah, um, and we enjoyed uh, Christmas. Yeah, and we made. Oh, that's the thing. I, I was like, if I. It's what we did last year. Is it's basically the whole time up until Christmas, literally was working and working and working. And then actually, when Christmas Eve arrived, last year, I was like, I've just basically haven't. Um, I've basically missed Christmas because on the Christmas Eve I was editing, and then I had to have a, a release a video on Christmas Day, so I was actually editing all the all the afternoon on Christmas day as well. I was like, oh, I haven't had any time to, basically the, the, the next day off was like Boxing Day. So I hadn't enjoyed Christmas, basically missed Christmas. So I was like, this year I was like, nah, do you know what? Cancel that. We'll just do some fun Christmas videos with cooking and stuff. So, yeah. yeah, so this is ready to work now. Boom, 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 boom. Yep. It hurts like that? What? I'm scared. The ladder has got a it's got a hook, so it's not going to slide back. <laughs> oh, he loves the sight. Right, Florian. So we've. <laughs> we're yeah, we're like, oh, wait, wait, wait. So we did. We did the insulation. We did some insulation. Um, it wasn't that interesting, so we uh, we skipped over that part. But uh, we're both hungry, and Florian, this is your this is your favourite meal. I think so. Yes. My but do you, do you want to explain what your favourite meal is and what this weird contraption is on the table? Because because when I moved to France, I had no idea what this was. And I'm sure a lot of people around the world haven't got a clue. Can you explain so what this is? We call this in France raclette. So we need potatoes, uh, charcuterie. Charcuterie, sausages, yeah, there's more there. Sausages, seeds. You can take uh, ham, yam. Ham, yeah. Ham. And the most important is... Cheese. Raclette cheese, yeah. So you have a slice, slice of cheese. Yeah. Um, is it Swiss I... cheese or French cheese? Is raclette Swiss or French? Mm, I don't know. It's... It comes from France. Yeah, it's French it's cheese. France. Yeah. It's French, yes. Right. And after you put the, a slice of me and a good and I put uh, two slices. Uh, put two slices of cheese. All right. So basically, what this is, it's like a, it's like a grill. So yeah, show them, it's, it's like a grill. Underneath there is like a, a heating element and you have these little, um, 
What are they? What do you call those? The things? Uh, coupel. Coupel, yeah. Coupel. And so you put your cheese or meat inside, on them. And it will melt. Yeah. After and you, you put this on your potato. You put it underneath? Yes, here. Yeah. Where do, do you put them? Do you put your meat on the top? You can melt. But I don't, I, I don't because it smells really bad. Yeah, I don't. I put mine underneath. But you can. Some people uh, put some mushrooms or you oh. can put some vegetables because oh, it's mushrooms. very fat. Yeah. You can, you can make uh, and eat what you want. Yes. Yeah. For me, it's cheese, potato and some uh, yeah. charcuterie. Charcuterie, yeah. Charcuterie, yeah. yeah. So yeah, you have like boiled potatoes and you cut them in half, put butter on them and you put and melted, for... melted cheese and um, cooked ham. And... and I forgot to detail, a worklet without wine is not a worklet. What is cheers. it? <laughs> Enjoy, cheers. <laughs> Enjoy, cheers while my um, video uploads in the background. Patreon video that we filmed today. Mm -hmm. Right, ah, yeah, what we feel. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, I've not eaten since like eight o'clock this morning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some food. We need a, a good day, so yeah, a good day, good day of filming. Let's go to, to eat. Yeah, and see. maybe you can show after when the cheese melts. Melt oh, yeah, yeah, we'll definitely show like the, the different stages of the process to see a, a plate fill. Yeah, because before I, I moved to France, so we, we were meant to have raclette. I was like, what. Is raclette? What? 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 What, what on earth is that? It's we don't have it in England. Oh, okay. So, in France, it's uh... it's a it's a winter staple in France. Yeah, but you wouldn't have this in the summer. Sorry, but tonight I will lose my abs. <laughs> good, good. Right there we go. Right, let's um let's get let's stuck in. Yep. Put yours. What's that? Put yours to right. So my cheese. Under. If it can focus, my cheese is in my little, my little, what is it, shovel? Under it goes, under the grill. But I've got two. I've got two. I do mine separate. And what do you do? Personally, yeah, I put two slices in the same. Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> so, the advantage is work it. You don't mix what you want. Just yep. eat. There's no rules. Spend a good time. So what have you done with your potato? You've peeled your potato. Yeah. I uh, crushed. crushed. You peeled your and crushed your potato. I just mashed mine without um, without peeling. I like potato skins. No, I'm not bothered. Right, so let's see how this goes. And after I put my uh, we don't, We definitely we don't normally sit and have dinner together. It's not. It's very um. It's very rare, isn't it? To make uh, to dinner together. Uh, oh no, maybe one time? one two times. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. But you wanted raclette. I wanted a Chinese buffet and you wanted raclette, so we have raclette. Oh, raclette. Yeah, it's cheaper. And we don't have to drive. What's that? You want some uh, cheese? Cheese? Okay. No, I've just got some no. cheese, yeah. I've got no. some cheese. But do you want to you wanna show show them the melted cheese? Oh, look at that. It's literally bubbling. Mm. And what do you do with it? So, put on your potatoes. Mm. Wow. Yeah, okay. Welcome to France. <laughs> Come to the best country. Yeah. No. <laughs> but the best uh, meal? Yeah. Best meal? Yeah. It's not the best meal in France, but it's 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 up there. It's five stars. Five star? Michelin star. Mm. Three star. 